Hello, I'm Andrew Pritchard. Thank you for watching today's Northeast Regional Forecast, brought to you by Nutrient Ag Solutions. Well, if we look at the jet stream right now, Tuesday morning, we've got a big trough over the Great Lakes. That is pumping in some colder air to much of the central and the eastern United States. The coldest air located across the northern plains, where it's below zero to the single digits. Uh, but we're seeing that colder air reach into the northeast right now. If you look at 24-hour temperature change, they're already warming up over the central and northern plains there. But here in the northeast, uh, generally about 10 to 20 degrees colder than it was 24 hours ago has you know colder than it was on Monday morning so uh, the colder air is shifting into the area we've also seen some heavy snow over the last 72 hours here going back to uh, uh, Sunday here anywhere from 6 to 12 inches of snow across uh, coastal portions of the northeast here three to six inches elsewhere uh, with you know lighter amounts as you head off to the east the good news is it's going to be quiet for the next couple of days if we play the high resolution NAM model uh, we just see some very light snow activity mostly going to be confined to uh, uh, lake effect snow regions here uh, we're watching a little system cut across the uh, corn belt on thursday but it's not until the back half of the weekend that we see the next storm system the next major storm system moving through the northeast we can play that here from the uh, the European model. We're on Thursday now, so we see this light snow tracking through the Corn Belt, quiet across the northeast, except for maybe some lake effect snow across parts of New York State. And then as we head towards the weekend, this is when we finally see on a Saturday afternoon, another low pressure center developing over the central plains. That's going to bring heavy snow to the upper Midwest. It's going to be rain and thunderstorms to the mid-Mississippi Valley, and another round of thunderstorms, heavy rain, and potentially some severe weather to the mid-south. Here in the Northeast, though, it's not until we get towards the back half of the weekend. Again, Sunday now, we start to see some snow moving into the area. Uh, rain, if you're a little bit further south, we'll talk about how much here in just a moment, but just look at the timing now. We're into Sunday evening, Monday night, and now during the day on Monday, this is beginning to lift off. We're on the backside here, getting cold air, probably blustery on the backside of this thing as well. So. Sunday, Sunday night, looking like the heaviest precipitation getting into the day. Monday, this thing starts lifting off, so uh, precipitation comes to an end, but that colder air will begin to file in on the back side. It looks like it's going to be a lot of the same here over the next one to two weeks with these major storm systems coming from the central plains, sweeping through the Midwest and eventually through the Northeast. That means a temperature roller coaster for us here in the Northeast. It also means periodic chances for precipitation, snow in the north, rain in the south. How much snow from this one on the, uh, the weekend here, Sunday and Monday? We're looking at the European model's probability of at least three inches of snow, of over three inches of snow falling. Uh, again, and this goes, you know, covering that weekend storm system. We see the highest potential right now, the highest likelihood, uh, obviously close to the lake here in New York, New northern New York. Uh, getting into Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. South of that, lower chances here. That's where we're going to be mixing with rain or perhaps staying as all rain as you get as far south as, uh, you know, Pennsylvania, Maryland, and that area. Uh, if you're talking about Massachusetts, southern New York State, that's where maybe we're talking about a mix. But this is way out there. This We're talking Sunday into Monday right now, and that's why I'm not talking specific amounts. We're just looking at the, you know, the probability of some significant snow falling. And right now that looks to be confined to the northern parts of the northeastern region. I mentioned we're going to be doing this for the next week or two, so I'm going to play the European uh, forecast here. The European model's forecast will kind of track the evolution of the jet stream. First, we'll watch this big trough that's bringing cold air begin to slide east. We'll see a ridge slowly build in that's going to warm the central and the eastern U.S. just slightly because then we already see uh, quickly, here why don't I just play this for you, we can watch it together, we'll see a trough develop over the western U.S. and that kind of regenerates and kicks storm systems off again across the central plains. Here's this weekend system and then another one midweek, so in the northeast it'd probably be the back half of next weekend. So a big storm system Sunday and Monday this weekend. And then maybe looking at another storm system tracking through the area, uh, maybe Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But here you see it cooling, warming, cooling, and warming in advance and behind each storm system. So uh, periodic chances of precipitation here every three to four days. And we'll be riding that temperature roller coaster as well in the northeast. Eric Snodgrass is going to have an in-depth evolution look at the evolution of the next one to two weeks in our Thursday morning ag forecast video. And you can catch your next northeast regional forecast right here on Friday. Have a great day.